everyone. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> okay, so we're doing a video on my 2018 perfume haul. So these are all the perfumes that I will be rocking for 2018. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to come in and show you guys my collection. Um, if you're interested, keep watching. Hey you guys, so there's no particular order that I have my perfumes in. These are just all perfumes that I like and just want to keep in my collection. So I'm going to tell you guys the sense of it, how long they stay on my body, and how many fluid ounces they are, and anything more I will add as I go, okay? So, first one is... An oldie, a goodie, and it's Versace, Versace Red Jeans. One of my favorite is definitely an oldie, and I hope this picks up for you guys, but it's not, probably not going to all fully. But um, this is definitely one that I would love to keep in my collection always. This smell, ugh. I fell in love with it some years ago. My sister-in-law is the one that put me on to this. And when I smelt it on her, I was like, man, I need this. And um, this is definitely one that's probably going to stay in my collection always. So the fluid ounces on this one, it comes in this cute little tin right here. And it is 2.5 fluid ounce. And... It smells, to me, it's not floral. I can't, I, I really cannot describe this scent. I don't know what you would say this one is. Like, but it's not for the younger crowd. I am going to say this. It's a little bit more for the, 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 the sophisticated, I would say, woman. Um. I would say maybe maybe mm, maybe your 20s, your late 20s going into your 30s that time. It's not a playful smell. I'm going to say that, but I love this. For me, I could put it on my what is it? The certain points that you normally put your perfumes on is your wrist, you know, your your chest and your back of your neck. and like your thigh area, I could put that on there and this will definitely stay on my body. All day all day long oldie but definitely goodie I freaking love this one so this one's Versace red jeans and when you buy it it comes in this cute little tin can so there we go okay and excuse the background because I think you're probably here Dee Dee Okay, so moving on to this is the Taylor Swift perfume and it's called Wonderstruck. Really like this. Bought this some time ago and um, fell in love with the scent. Honestly, this is more for the younger crowd, I would say. It's not too bold of a smell, but definitely floral. You know, and like I said, it's not overpowering, but if you have like a teenager you want and she's wanting to get into perfumes, this is not a bad way to go. It's not strong. So um, definitely, definitely love this. And it's cute because it has like a little spiky ball on it and it has a little dove, you know, right there. And it has a little bird cage also. So packaging is super cute. I just love this one. And I have about this much in this one left. So yes, and I lost the top. But yes, um, and how many fluid ounces? This is 1.7 fluid ounce. And this one, when I put it on the certain parts of my body, this is not one that's going to stay on my body. This is one that if I want to keep smelling like this, I'm definitely going to have to apply it maybe one or two more times during the day. It's definitely something that does fade through the day. So keep that in mind. Definitely good for a younger girl 
teenager in my in my opinion you know so there we go this is the taylor swift wonderstruck so okay so moving on to another one this is one that is very special to me because my husband bought it um for me uh some time ago when he was overseas in bahrain i think bahrain or maybe um uh, byron or um dubai i can't remember where he exactly was but it's one of those places that he was at and he went to um uh you know just like a little perfume place out there and then asked like what is most of the women like and what do they go for and the man took him into this direction and i cannot pronounce i do not know exactly what it says now i have a sister-in-law that is arabic and she did read this to me and she had said that basically it has like a musk smell to it so a lot of the women back that way they like that scent so my husband when he smelled it he liked it and he was like okay you know this is what i want for you now this is definitely like i said it's a musk smell it's not for a young girl whatsoever whatsoever this can definitely be a little overpowering so it's one of those ones that i literally can put right here and maybe the back of the neck and that's it that might be pushing it sometimes but this stays on my body all day i i mean i don't know there's got to be some kind of oils in here like this is for real perfume and um it doesn't say how many fluid ounces are in this bottle but um it's quite a bit that's in there because like i said you definitely little goes a long way but it's cute it has a cute little tassel on it but yeah there we go so that's that now this is another one that i absolutely love i bought this last year a lot of you guys know about this one this is like Go, I mean, a lot of women, a lot of you guys know about this. This is a Versace Bright Crystal. Now, this, out of all the Versaces, this, um, let me take that back because I was about to say, out of all the Versace, this is my favorite. I don't know because, like I said, this is the oldie but goodie. This one's gonna always stay in my collection. Like, I have to keep this one in my collection, but this is another one too because it's totally different from this. Like this one smells like floral, this one doesn't. This one, so this is more for of the younger crowd, younger women. You know, I wouldn't say like this is not something that my mother would like. I don't think so, like at all. This is more softer and more playful, you know, in a sense. So I like this one. I like this one. So. This one has, I don't know how many fluid ounces this has. Oh, 1.7 fluid ounces are in this one. I like that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like the top part. And I'm going to say my nails look good. Shoot. I just got my nails done yesterday. But it has that on top, the head on top. And I use, I've used this last year. This is this is one of the ones that I can say out of all. Along with this one, <laughs> I've used the heck out of this one. Definitely. So, yeah. Now, does this stay on my body long? Yes, I can say this one does stay on the body long. I put them in all those places that I normally would put my perfume at. And I definitely will smell like bright ice later. So... This is definitely one that will probably stay in my collection as well. So, I'm sorry. I'll, okay. I hate that. Um, there we go. There you go, my Isha. <laughs> okay, so bright eyes. Okay, so moving on. This is one that I got for Christmas this year. Something new. That my husband got me and this one's miss dior and this one's the blooming um what is it blooming bouquet sorry i was about to say something totally different <sighs> yes this is one that i freaking love you guys <sighs> this one smells so beautiful 
and this is what this looks like it's miss dior i'm sorry i know you guys can hear dd in the background but this is a beauty i just love the packaging for one it's so beautiful it's so it's so simple but it's so elegant at the same time you know what i mean like it's a very simple bottle very just a square with a little cute bow on it enough to be girly and that's it you know what i mean but um i don't know how many fluid ounces this is i don't know but this one obviously by the name blooming bouquet it smells floral this is one that stays on my body all day this is not one that you know is like this one where I put one squirt and I'm good like it's boom you know there this is not one I, I mean this is one that I can put on my points of my body and I still smell beautiful at the end of the day you know what I mean I one of my favorites I love this one absolutely love this one okay so moving on to my last, this one is one that she will definitely be in my stash forever as well. And this is Ralph Lauren Romance, a very simple bottle. As you can see, I got this one also for Christmas. My husband bought this one for me. This one... This one can go for the young women this one can go for the older woman very floral i just I, I don't know you guys got if you guys have a macy's dillard's um what other uh, department stores if you guys have any department stores nearby just go smell this and tell me what you guys think this is a very clean crisp smell but she smells beautiful like oh this is beautiful okay so how many fluid ounces are in this 3.4 fluid ounces this one it's such a beautiful bottle it's like so crisp it's so clean looking right and it's just so simple and it says um, Ralph Lauren right on the this part right here but it's just so pretty this is one that definitely stays on your body all day put it on your certain places that you know you normally do and you will smell like Ralph Lauren romance at the end of the day as well so she will stay in my collection forever as well uh, but yeah so that is it for all of my perfume collection for 2018 I don't know I'm I do have my mind you know on a couple new ones that I'm thinking to add to the collection I don't know if I should or if I should just use up what I have going on now but there is one more that I'm looking at and that one is I don't know if I should tell you guys or should I do an unboxing when I get it Dee, Dee is not happy y'all um, probably giving her daddy hell but I'm really thinking about um I think this one what is it called bad girl or good girl good girl or bad boy I'll put it down in the description bar but I love this and I think what does it is the fact that it's in a shape of a high heel it's like an all black stiletto with a gold heel beautiful I love the packaging and that's something else that is I, I can be sold on packaging. The The perfume has to smell somewhat good, but if the packaging is off the hook, I am with it. But anyway, this is what I have for 2018 as my as my stash, my haul for 2018, all my perfume, my smell goods and all that good stuff. So tell me in the comments, what is your favorite perfume? And put me on to something new. What is one of your oldies but goodies that will definitely stay in your stash always? Tell me what is new on the market because maybe I'm not seeing everything new, what's going on. But uh, I like to know what's what's the new that comes in. Oh, yeah. Have you guys smelled that Tiffany's one? And the Tiffany that I'm talking about is 
what does the packaging look like um i can't even remember let me i'm just rambling but anyway comment down below what is your favorite perfume and all that good stuff and let's share you guys if you're not subscribed already please do so it's so easy just click the button also thumbs up this video please like my video and like it if you want more videos on these this type of topic or anything that has anything to do with hauls or any of my stashes my makeup stash any of that good stuff okay and I shall talk to you guys soon. Bye.